game in. Last minute instructions from head coach Glenn Carlock. You know, uh, talked to uh, Mrs. Carlock briefly before the game, Danny, and I asked her the same question that I asked uh, Glenn in the interview. Is he superstitious? She says he wears the same tie every single uh, every single football game or every single football uh, game to school, and he always wears the same stuff. I said, well, gee whiz, does, does he wash that stuff in his car? She said, no, honey, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about ready to get underway here from Mitchell Stadium. Ricky Brown set to tee the football up for the G-Men. Back deep will be Aaron Self for the Princeton Tigers, along with William Rose and Nathaniel Hill. The ball is on the tee. We are just about ready to get underway. Chapter 2, 89 campaign is ready to rock and roll. Brown approaches the football, and there's the kick, and it's going to come down to Aaron Self. He takes it on the five-yard line. There's a fumble, Self to the 10. Around to the, still looking for some room. Still on the 10, he's got some running room. Self being caught from behind, and a saving tackle. Self makes it all the way back up to the 30-yard line. The tackle was made in there by number 21 of the G-men, Brent Surface. Brent saved that kick. And uh, he said, look, give me the ball, buddy. He says, I can do it. And he took it all the way back to the Princeton 30-yard line where it is first down and 10. There's an official timeout on the field. In the backfield with Self will be Willie Rose and David Spangler. Not sure what the official timeout is about. We have a football guy, I'll tell you. He is a threat anytime. Okay, Spangler comes out split left. They'll operate from a pro set left. Self takes a snap from center. The game is to Willie Rose. Up the middle, first man through, and he will go nowhere. Tackle made in there by Chris Stacy of the G-Men. It'll be second down at 10. 11.05 remaining. First quarter just underway here for Mitchell. They set up in the pro set left this time with a flanker right. Self at quarterback. Takes a snap from center once again. Flags never work. Yes, yeah. sir. A bunch of flags. The give once again was to Willie Rose. Uh, we'll see what the call is. I believe we got a little bit of balls. Pro set left, flanker right. Self at quarterback. Up over the center, takes a snap. The give once again is to Rose. And Rose picks up a few yards. He'll be close to a Princeton first down. But no cigar. It's going to be short. It'll be third and two for a Princeton first down. Johnny Grubb in on the tackle for the G-Men, along with Chris. That was Grubb and Patton in on that tackle. Tyler Thornhill comes out wide to the left for the Princeton Tigers. Pro set left, self the quarterback on the keeper. Will not make it, it'll be fourth down. They're gonna have to punt that football away. Excellent defense there. The whole line swarmed in that one. Aaron Self took the snap from center on the keeper, took about two steps, then took about five backwards because he was Aaron Self, Mr. Utility for the Tigers. There's the snap from center. It's a good one. And a real nice kick by Self, taken by Palmer at the 25-yard line. Palmer with some running room. Good little move there around to the 30 and 35. And Palmer stripped up and tackled at about the 38-yard line where the G-Men will take over first down and 10. It was not a very high kick. It was a low kick. Palmer uh, decided not to go for the fair catch. And instead, took the football at about his own 25 and uh, got it up to about the 38. So almost uh, 13 yards on that carry. Here come the G-Men. They'll operate out of the wishbone. We've got Latimer, Grubb, and Palmer in the backfield with Mike to General Patton and Ryan King split wide to the right. Palmer in motion. There's the snap from Patton. They're giving this is to Latimer. Latimer up the middle. Latimer's got some running room and a first down all the way past midfield to the Tiger 45-yard line. Or make it that the 14 yards on that carry. First down and 10, G-Men. Patton, the quarterback. Takes a snap from center. They give it to Tony Palmer around the left side. Palmer looking for some running room. Still on his feet. Palmer still on his feet. He's in the 30. He's in the 25, the 20, the 10, the 5, and Palmer's knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. What a run, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent running. Palmer was caught in the middle of the line there, cut back to the right side of the field, and then turned on the steam engines. And ladies and gentlemen, 
We've got a first and goal situation from the two yard line. That was a 43 yard carry by Tony Palmer. 8-16 remaining first quarter. G-Man knocking on the door, batting at quarterback. Mike takes a snap from center of the game, is to Tony P. Touchdown, G-Man! Go, yes, G-Man! Touchdown, G-Man, Tony Palmer, his second score of the 89 season. So we're on the board early, just like last week, and I'll tell you what, how sweet it is. <laughs> Ricky Brown checking into the five remaining first quarter, and the G-Men are on the board. There's the snap from center. The kick is up, and there's no question about it. It's good. With a score, 7 to nothing. the G-Men on top of the Tigers will pause for 30 seconds. Ramey's Labor Day weekend celebration with payment solo. Got a kick. Ricky Brown, and once again back deep is Rose itself, and the kick is coming down to Rose. He takes it at the 10-yard line, fumbles. He's on his five. Breaking back to the 10. Rose looking for some room boom! Oh, what a... He was blasted in there at the 15-yard line. Fantastic tackle made by Brent Surface. So the Tigers will start out deep in their own territory at about the 7-yard line. Tyler Thornhill comes out wide to the left. Pro set left, flanker left, self the quarterback. Takes a snap from center to give us to Rose, and he picks up a yard or two. We'll see where they mark it. Pickup of three, it'll be second down at seven. Tony Young in on the tackle for the Grand. Thornhill coming out wide to the left once again. Pro set left, we've got a flanker right, self at quarterback. Takes a snap from center and gives to, uh, I'm not sure who that was, Danny. I believe that was Nathaniel Hill. Yes, it was, Hill on the carry. Hill got the ball back past the initial line of scrimmage. It will be a third down situation, and one for the Tigers, the tackle made by the linebacker, Chris Patton. Spadero sending a play in from the sidelines. Once again, Thornhill coming out wide to the left. At quarterback, Aaron Self, Mr. Utility, takes a snap from center, gives to the first man through. There's a flag on the play. Looks like offsides G-Men again, Danny. Hey, we're getting in a little bit too fast that time, looks like. It is offsides against the G-Men drug. Little Caesar's Pizza, best in the biz, and Lee's Cargo, our good friends Lily and Thomas down there. First down at 10, Tigers. They've got the ball at their own 21. Self gives to the first man through, and he is smothered in there. Chris Stacy in on the tackle, along with Chris Patton. That was David Spangler on the carry for the Princeton Tigers. No gain on the play. Checked out, it was Willie Rose on the carry. No gain. Second down and 10, Tigers. 5.40 remaining first quarter. G-Men on top, 7-0. Thornhill once again wide left, pro set left, flanker right. Self at quarterback, barks the signals, takes a snap from center, and to give us to uh, Rose again. Rose will go absolutely nowhere. That was around the right side, and there, well, let's see, Chris Patton in on the tackle, along with Chris Stacy once again. Loss on the play. It'll be third down at 11 for the Tigers. G-Men, stingy defense tonight already, Danny. It is stiffening up in there right now. They got to stay away from those penalties right now. That's right. Two offsides. I think they're just trying to uh, get Aaron Self's timing off a little bit. Thornhill wide to the right, flanker left, pro set right. Self, the quarterback, takes a snap from center, looking to pass. He's still on his feet, and he is sacked in there by Chris Patton. Excellent play there by Chris. And that play was made possible by Eric Bogan Robinson, who had sniffed out Self in the backfield, and the tackle was made by Patton. Great play by Eric, Dan. Do you know that guy? Uh, just a smidgen, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine you saw him the first time he opened his eyes, huh? Just about, yeah. All right, it's a fourth down situation. There is a an official timeout right at this point. Tony Palmer is the deep back, lone deep back for the G-Men. He's standing at midfield, and Aaron Self will punt from his own three-yard line. 420 remaining first quarter. Here we go. There's a snap from center. It's a low one. 
Self gets off a pretty good kick considering Palmer with a fair catch, fumbles, and we'll take the ball up. Bluefield, Virginia. All right, we're back here live. Patton, the quarterback from the wishbone, takes the snap from center, gives it to the second man through Tony Palmer, and Palmer picks up about three and a half, four yards. Second man through Dickie Fingers King from the bone, batting at quarterback. Takes a snap from center, looking to pass, looking for King across the middle. He's got him, first down. Beautiful pass. First down, first I'll down. I'll tell you what, man, I'll tell you what, Danny. <laughs> Beautiful pass. Mike Patton, throwing with confidence, takes a snap from center, just looks across the line, dishes it to Ryan Sticky Fingers King, and it just hits, it's like a, it's like a fly on fly paper, <laughs> you know? King sticks his hands up there, and that ball just sticks to him. First down of 10, G-Men. We're now in Tiger territory, 47-yard line from the bone. King once again wide right. Patton takes a snap, pitches back to Johnny Grubb around the right side. Grubb looking for some running room. Got hit still on his feet. And Johnny Grubb. Close to a first down, Cass. Close. It's close to a first down. Pick up of about eight yards on the carry. We'll check and see where they mark it. Grubb was hit by about three Tigers. 36-yard line, make that the 37 of the Tigers. 2.58 remaining in the first quarter. It is the G-Men 7 and Princeton nothing. G-Men thus far in tonight's contest have sported four first downs. All right, Ryan King white to the right. From the wishbone, patented quarterback, barking the signals. Patton takes a snap, pitches back to Tony Palmer. Uh -oh. There's a fumble on the play. Palmer looks like he covered it up. It's going to bring up a second down and very long situation. That old ball is slick out there, Kiss. It is slick. Didn't look like a bad pitch back to me, Danny, but at any rate, uh, we move back just a smidge. Back. Here we come. Mike, the general Patton, takes a snap from center, drops back to oh, pass. Oh, it was a draw. Beautiful draw to Tony Palmer. And Palmer has got it up past the initial line of scrimmage. Boy, that fooled me like a dog, Danny. <laughs> beautiful play, beautiful play. I lost that football in a New York minute. Patton on a beautiful fake. I wonder if he learned that at camp or uh, over there at the high school. So again for the wishbone. Here come our G-men. Patton at quarterback. Takes a snap from center. Looking to pass. He had a man open, overthrown, intended for Brian Hoops. Brian took two steps in and fired across the middle, incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth down and five situation. Yes, Johnny he got a free lane on that one. He sure as heck did. Johnny Grubb brings the play in from the sidelines for the G-men. A lot of folks questioning as to who was calling the plays last week, Danny. Guess who it was? Who was it? A guy named Glenn Carlock. <laughs> fourth and five. Here we go, G-men. King, wide right from the wishbone. Patton takes a snap. The game is to Grubb, and he's got the first down. He's got more. He's, he's got, got all the way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, G-Men. What a play. Yes, sir, Bob. The G-Men from the 33-yard line. 33-yard touchdown score by John Grubb. It was a beautiful wishbone. Patton took the snap from center, pitched back to the right side to Johnny Grubb, and Johnny would put on his pony. And he was downtown all around. He was goodbye, folks. Touchdown. So it's 13 zip here, 135 remaining in the first quarter. Johnny Grubb on a 33-yard touchdown pass. There's the snap from center. The kick is up. It is good with a score. The G-Men 14 to nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. New Method Laundry in Bluefield, Virginia is proud to be... I'd say she'd uh, probably want you to do all of it down there, kid. That's right. Boy, <laughs> Maryland takes uh, care of a ton of laundry, believe me, folks. 14 to sip, Ricky Brown to kick off for the G-Men. 135 remaining first quarter. There's the kick from Brown. It's a high one. Aaron Self looking for it, takes it at his four-yard line. To the 5, to the 10, to the 15. Up to the 20, breaking back around the right side, and he is Mother. rumbled in there. Eddie Caffrey in on the tackle. Along with, once again, Brent Surface. <laughs> All right, here come the Princeton Tigers. Thornhill comes out wide to the left. Pro set left. Flanker right. Self, the quarterback, takes a snap from center. And he, it was a keeper by Self. And he broke a whole bunch of tackles. But didn't get anywhere. Can't you can tell he's an excellent runner. Brian Denham had a hold of him by the shoestrings and then pulled his shoestrings right out of his shoes. 
There was a loss of about four on the play. It'll be second down and 14. That left, Flacker left, self the quarterback, gives uh -oh. to the first man through Rose. Rose with some running room, and Rose has got the ball back up to about the 20-yard line. That was a good carry by Rose, and I'll tell you what, Danny, uh, Tony Palmer, if Tony hadn't made that stab there, and if it hadn't been real wet, Mr. Rose might have gone. Do I know Drive to McDonald's, your breakfast is ready to go. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Right now at McDonald's, choose from our three breakfast combos for only $2.29 plus tax for a limited time only at participating McDonald's restaurants in Southern West Virginia and Tasman, Virginia. Prices may vary. Okay, it's third down, seven. Self takes a snap from center and territory at his own eight-yard line. There's the snap from center. Beautiful pickup by Self. That one was on the ground and took a beautiful bounce to him. And he got off the kick, and it will go out of bounds at the 46-yard line of the Tigers. So that was not Aaron Self's fault. He got a very low snap from center. Didn't even make it to him. Back on. Pat, at quarterback. Michael takes a snap from center to give us Latimer right up the middle. Latimer with some running room still on his feet. What a bull he is this year, Danny. For first down, pick <laughs> up of 12. Two of them. What a bull. Pick up of 12 yards on the play. Latimer, that's funny. That's funny. He was hit about three yards after he took the football and then just bulled his way about seven. And that's no bull. <laughs> that's a good kid out there. He's had it tough. You know, those guys are the board with us this year in the Graham High School football campaign. Princeton, first down at 10. Self takes a snap from center. They give us to the first man through Rose. And Rose looks like he's picked up about seven yards on the carry. Rose, the workhorse tonight. Mark Trail, the halfback, is out with an injury. Separated shoulder. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Second and four, Latimer went for the first down. Maybe he fumbled, I guess. Yeah. Wide receiver left, self at quarterback, takes a snap. There's a flag on the play. G-men offsides once again. Another five-yarder. Looks like Eddie Caffrey was offsides. Wait, uh, nope. It looks like they're going to call it on David Lawson. <clears throat> so that will give the uh, Princeton Tigers a much-needed first down. They've only had a couple in tonight's uh, contest. And all of them, I believe, have been attributed to G-men errors. That's right. 11 minutes remain. Down Johnny Grubb. Here come the Tigers. First down and 10. They get the ball at their own 37. Self, the quarterback, takes a snap from center. Oh, he's through. And the give was to number 41 there. That's the guy that we do not have his number. Uh, we don't have his name. Rather. We've got his number for sure, 41. First down <laughs> and 10, though. Number 41. Of the end of the football game, Bluefield Tazewell. Okay, buddy, go in ahead. In the first quarter, quarter it's uh, Bluefield zero, Tazewell zero. Okay, That's zip, at the end of the first quarter. Zip to zip, first quarter. There's a snap from center. Self gives to Rose. Rose through the middle on the dive, and he picks up a couple of yards. Guess what, Danny? It's halftime already. The girls from Little Caesars. Oh, my Caesars Lord, are here. look here at this pizza. I tell you what, 14 to zip. Thornhill goes out wide to the left. They've got a flanker right from the pro set left. Jamin on top, 14 to nothing. There's a snap from center. Self looking downfield to pass. Running, rolling. He's going to take it himself. And Self will be tackled in there by Chris Patton. Patton in on the play, along with Chris Stacy, Gets back to the uh, line of scrimmage. It's still going to be third down and about seven for a Princeton first down. How you doing, girl? Pretty good. What's your name? Mickey. And pizza. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird name. <laughs> Here we go again. Tigers once again. Self looking to pass, looking downfield. He's, He's got done. a man. It's complete. First down, knocked out of bounds at the Graham 25-yard line with 9.03 remaining. Where's that other character from Little Caesars? What's your name? Kathy. Kathy, you say. Hey, one, one, one. Hey. Two pizzas for the price of one from Little Caesars. Thank you, ladies. Here come the Tigers once again. Self on the keeper. He is yes, tackled oh. and stopped there. Once again, our thanks to Scott Morton, Rebecca Morton, and all those lovely folks up there at Little Caesars Pizza. Man, the press box smells. Man, and just a, just a flat-out ton of cheese. Mm. Second down and 10, Tigers. Here they come from the g 25. Self takes a snap. The game is a rose. He goes yes, nowhere. Lost. Lance Barber, I will check that. That was Brian Hoops in on the initial tackle for the G-Men. It'll bring up a third down and 10 situation with 
Third down at 12. Self takes a snap from center. Oh. Woo, baby. How sweet it is. The handoff was to Nathaniel Hill, and he was smoked in there by Eric Bogan Robinson. <laughs> you don't smoke him any better than that. Another loss on the play. It'll bring up fourth down. There is a timeout on the field. We will pause for a minute and a half. 2.99, 32 ounce Stokely ketchup, 89 cents, and 15 count Western cantaloupe, 79 cents each. At your hometown proud IGA, Rossi's Bluefield, Virginia. Fourth down and 13 for the Tigers. There's the snap from center. Self rolling to the left. Boy, he was smacked in there, Danny. Another loss on the play. I'm not sure who made that tackle, but I'll tell you what. There's four of them. He's wearing number one this year. From the wishbone, the G-men. There's the snap from center, and the give is to Tony Palmer oh. on the trap. Tony picks up a few yards. Looks like a pickup of four. It'll be second down and six. 6.58 remaining in the half. G-Man on top, 14 to nothing. Ricky Brown checking into the game for the g -Man. On Second down and six, G-Man. Patton at quarterback, takes the snap from center, gave to Latimer, first man through. Marcus still on his feet once That's again, funny. Danny. And Marcus will be close to a first down. It'll be shy by a couple of yards, I believe. It is close to the first down. It'll be third down and one for a G-Man first down. Pickup of six by Latimer. Here come the G guys out of the huddle. Third down one. <clears throat> Once again from the bone. Patton barking the signals. Michael takes a snap from center. They give it to Tony Palmer. Palmer hit in the middle there, then tried to break it out outside, and he will be short of the first down, I believe. It's going to be close, I guess. It's they going may, to be very close. May have to measure it. That's with a G-man. So we've got the ball first down and 10, our own 42. 5.33 remaining in the half. We're on top 14 to nothing. Patton at quarterback. Michael takes the snap from center, looking back to pass. Right, wide looking open. downfield. Oh. Wide open, Ryan King. Oh, oh. Thrown. oh my. Lottie, Lottie, Lottie. Just a wee bit too high. Ryan King was wide open, and the only reason he didn't catch it is because he couldn't get his sticky fingers on that football. <laughs> Ooh, how close that was. Beautiful pass by Mike Patton, but just overthrown by about three or four yards. Boy, he can throw that thing. You dead Jim Wright. 521 remaining. First half. G-Man on top, 14 to nothing. That score from Tazel. Bluefield and Tazel going at it, nothing to nothing. It's second down to 10. G-Man, Patton at quarterback. Michael takes a snap from center, gives to the first man through. That's Marcus Latimer, and Marcus has picked up about five yards, it looks like, Daniel. Make it six. It'll be third down and four for the G-men. A flank to the left from the pro set left. Here come the G-men. Patton takes a snap from center, gives to Latimer. Latimer has got the first down and some. He's got the football all the way up to the 44-yard line of the Beavers. It'll be first down and 10 G-Men. That was a pickup of nine yards on that carry for Latimer. Latimer is running tough tonight, like a bull. And that's no bull. <laughs> Here we go. Brian Hoops goes out wide to the left from the wishbone. G-Man operating first and 10 from the Tiger 44. Patton, the quarterback, barks the signal, takes the snap, looking to throw. He's got a man in the flat, incomplete. Overthrown and a little bit behind, intended for Johnny Grubb. It'll be second down and 10, G-Man. As I... Second down and 10, here we go, from the bone. Patton, the quarterback, here's the snap from center. Patton to Ricky Brown. Brown on the carry, he's got the first down. All the way down to the 32-yard line of the Tigers. Pickup of 12 on the play. Great spot to the left. He'll be covered by Nathaniel Hill. Here come the G-Men. Patton takes a snap from center on the draw. They gave us to Palmer. And Palmer's got about five or six yards on the carry. It is a pickup of five. It'll be second down at five. 
Coming up to Princeton from the wishbone again. Patton takes a snap from center. They give us to Tony Palmer. Palmer with some great blocking, some running room. He'll get another first down and some. And he's got the ball down to about the 20-yard line of the Tigers' pickup of seven on the play. Another G-Men first down. That is Patton is up over the center, barking the signals, takes a snap, looking to throw, looking downfield, being chased, still looking. Patton will run it. Patton is at the 20 and knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. If Ryan King had a seen that Mike had decided to take the ball, Danny, Ryan would have been able to make a little tap, just a little block, just a little push. Just a little bit. And it would have meant six. That's right. Men knocking on the door again. Hoops is wide to the left. Patton at quarterback. Michael takes a snap, pitches back to Johnny Grubb around the right side. And Grubb is tripped up, lost on the play. Tackle in there made by number 50, Lewis Thomas of the Tigers. It'll be third down and seven for a G-Men first down. We might over the center and yelling out the signals. He takes a snap and he looks to throw across the middle to King. King at the five and the four, and he's all the way down to the two-yard line. <laughs> Ryan King from the tight end position took about five steps down, about three steps in, and boom, there it was. Sticky fingers King. Man, I'll tell you, what a combo these guys are. It's first and goal. G-Men, first and goal to go from the three. Pat in the quarterback takes a snap. And I'm not sure he gave that to Latimer. Touchdown. <laughs> Marcus Latimer's first score of the 89th season, and we're now on top 20 to nothing. G-Men not to be outdone tonight. It looks as if this one is going to be a runaway at this point. There's a snap. This kick is up. It is beautiful. With a score 21 to nothing, Jeeman on top of the Tigers will pause for 30 seconds. Jeff Brown Homes has bad news and good news. First, the bad news. Summer's over. You've resigned yourself to spending another winter paying rent, and your next vacation is almost a year away. But now there's good news thanks to Jeff Brown Homes. Summer's still over. They can't do anything about that. But now you can take your rent dollars and put them into your own home, new or used, single wide or double wide, and look forward to a four-day, three-night vacation to Orlando, Florida, home of Disney World. And you can take it next year. But hurry, just a few trips left at Jeff Brown Homes, routes 19460, Bluefield, Virginia. We're back here live. At a... Hey, Cass. Yes, sir. We've got a score from Bluefield Taswell. Throw Taswell it. leads Bluefield 7 to nothing. All right, it is Taswell 7, Bluefield zip in the first half. Palmer unofficially has 81 yards on tonight's contest thus far. 21 to nothing. Ricky Brown set to tee it up. It's teed up, and there is the kick. It's a good one, Aaron Self. Nope, it will be taken by Nathaniel Hill. He's to the 20, 25, breaking it around the left side. Hill still on his feet, turning, and he is swung down in there by Ricky Brown. Snap gives to the first man through. He goes nowhere. Tackle made in there by David Lawson, the initial tackle. Also in on the tackle, Bogan Robinson. Touchdown, Scamper Johnny Grubb, and then with 140 left just a moment ago. Three-yard touchdown by Marcus Latimer. Dropping back to pass, Self, he'll be smothered. Absolutely smothered. Mike Patton, or rather Chris Patton on the... Do have the best pizza in town. Try us tomorrow or give us a call tonight at 325-8111. That's 325-8111. Always two great pizzas and one low price at Little Caesars Pizza, Bland Street, Bluefield. All right, back here live, third and 14, Self dropping back the pass, intended for Michael Burks, out of his hands, incomplete, almost intercepted. The Tigers will have to punt the football away to the G-Men with 41 ticks remaining. Little Caesars Pizza, I tell you what, I like it when there's time out on the field, Danny, then I can grab some of this pizza over here. I'm chomping it down, buddy. Here we go, Self to punt, and Palmer stands at his own 40. The kick is up. Tony's calling for a fair catch. And he fumbles. It is recovered by the Tigers. They will have a first and 10 from the G-Men, 44, I believe. Was he given enough room, Danny? 
Well, I'll tell you, Cass, there wasn't but a couple of yards there, and you, you've got to give that receiver enough room to catch that ball. Well, you can see some Graham coaches down there aren't real happy about that call. For the Princeton Tigers, throw set left, flank or right. 12 ticks remaining. Self dropping back the pass. Uh -oh. Looking downfield. Still looking downfield. Throws it up for Graham. Interception. Intercepted by Ricky Brown at the 42-yard line. As I was saying, the defense will come to the occasion. That is right. Self was being chased in there by a host of G-men defensemen. So with four ticks remaining in the first half, and that will uh, that will do it for the first half. That is all she wrote for the first half. With the score, the G-Men 21st. Let's talk, Danny, about those good folks down there at Lee's Cargo, Lily and Thomas. kickoff from Aaron Self. It's going to come down to Tony Palmer at the four-yard line. Palmer's to the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25. He's Palmer wants to run away. Hey, He's hey, gone. He is gone. If Self can catch him, it doesn't look like it. Palmer's to the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. 96 yards. Tony Palmer broke it open. And the G-Men go on top 27 to nothing. Danny, that is one of the most beautiful kickoff returns I've ever seen in Graham High School you football. You can see that hole opening up on that kiss. They yes, had that sorry. wall set perfect. They set the wall up. Tony started up the middle from the four-yard line, got up to the 10. When he got up to about the 25-yard line, he broke it outside, and then it was a foot race between Tony Palmer and Aaron Self, and it looked like T.P., got the best of him. 27 to zip, and Ricky Brown is set to go for the PAT. The snap, the kick, it is no good wide left. With the score of the GMA, 27 to nothing, 11.45 in the third quarter. We'll pause for 30 seconds. What do you look for when you're buying a car? High-pressured salesmanship? Inflated deals? Unsatisfactory service? If that's what you expect. She's done a couple of numbers. There's the kickoff from Ricky Brown, taken by Aaron Self. It'll be a touchback. The Tigers will take over the football first and 10 from their own 20. Eddie Caffrey just popped somebody down there with a great block. On the ground. Popped him on the ground. 
Okay, uh, G guys, it looks like. All right, here come the Tigers. Pro set right, and they give us the first man through. Rose, and Rose is stacked up in there. Pickup of, of two. And our good buddy Lance Barber, who's been so tough ever since his freshman year, is in on the tackle. Tony Palmer, 96 yards, Graham High School football. Flanker left, pro set right, self, the quarterback, takes the snap from center, gives to Rose once again, he will go. He is smothered. Oh, absolutely nowhere. Caffrey in on the tackle. Chris Stacy. Denham on the tackle. Chris Patton as well. Barber also. A bunch of them. Third down and swing at all are going to have to do it this series. Self at quarterback, lone back, two flankers. Self drops back to pass, being chased. Still being chased, and he'll be, I don't know whether they'll call that incomplete or uh, a sack. Looks like they are calling it incomplete. He was uh, wrestled down to the ground by Lance Barber, chased in there by Eric Bogan. Self doing the punting honors for the Tigers tonight. He's done a lot of punting. On his own six-yard line, gets the punt off, and they're going to let it bounce. Takes a Tiger bounce, rolling to the 40-35, and finally rolling dead at the 31-yard line of the G-Men, where they'll take over first down at 10. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Eclipse Austin Storage and Transfer. First down at 10, G-Men with the ball from the wishbone. Patting up over the uh, center, takes the snap, and the give is to Palmer. Palmer with some running room. <clears throat> Palmer picks up about six or seven yards on the carry, on the dive. Six yards on the carry, it'll be second and four, G-Men. 9-19 remaining third quarter. If you're just joining us, G-Guys on top, 27-zip. G-Men come out of the huddle, operating from the wishbone. Latimer, Palmer, and Grubb in the backfield. Patton takes a snap from center. I'm sorry, Ricky Brown in the backfield. They give it to Brown. Brown with some real great speed off of the snap of center has got the football all the way to midfield and to the Princeton 49 for another first down. Ricky is running with some authority this year, Danny. Excellent running that time, Kiss. Carrying about two or three with him, too. Brown checks out of the game. First down to 10, G-Men from the Princeton 49. Once again, the wishbone. Wishbone. <laughs> wishbone. All right, new. Here we go. Patton dropping back to pass, looking downfield. He's got a man wide open. Ryan King is at the 31-30, and he's knocked down at the 28-yard line. Another perfect pass from Mike Patton to Ryan King. First and 10, G-Men at the Princeton 29, they mark it. Johnny Grubb checking out of the football game. Checking in for the G-Men is Brent Surface. Here come the G-Men, first and 10 from the Tiger, 29 from the bone. Patton takes a snap from center, gives on the misdirection to Surface. Surface still running and on his feet at the 25-yard line. On the crossbuck trap, Grubb checks in, surfing at the quarterback. Michael takes a snap from center, looking to pass, and that'll be incomplete, as that was sniffed out by Aaron Self on the old blitz. What they call the major bulldog there right there. He had him smothered on that one, Kiss. Yes, sir, sniffed it out. For sure, for sure. Third down at six, G-Men. Look at Patton's number one on his jersey. Aaron kind of rearranged that for him. Looks like a uh, minus. Third down at six, here come the G-men. Patton, the quarterback, takes a snap from center, dropping back to pass, looking downfield. He's got a man, but it was, it was intended for hoops, and it was broken up in there by Jade White of the Tigers. That'll bring up a fourth down situation. Here we go, pro set right. Patton, the quarterback, takes a snap from center, dropping back to pass, stumbles, slips, still on his feet, and he'll be tackled. He lost his footing. The tackle was made in there by Lewis Thomas of the Tigers, 
and the Tigers will take over the football. First down and 10 from the 34-yard line of, well, 34, their own 34. That's what I'm trying to say. So a 7-8 right in motion. Self takes a snap from center on the misdirection. Tony Young ate him alive. The give was to Nathaniel Hill, and Tony Young just buried him. No gain on the play. Second down to 10. Uh, give me a hot dog with onions. <laughs> I saw that pizza. Second and 11, Tigers, self at quarterback, dropping to pass, just a little old, sh what do they call that, Danny? Shovel pass, yeah, right? a little shovel there. The shovel pass, incomplete. The shovel pass, it'll be third down and 11. Self is getting up a little shaky. Receiver left, a frank, flanker right, pro set left. Self takes a snap from center, the give us to Rose. Nowhere. Nowhere. Did not get to the uh, initial line of scrimmage. Did not get back to the initial, initial line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth down and 11. And the Tigers are going to have to punt the football again, Danny. A lot of uh, faithful Princeton High School fans over there, I'll tell you. They're laying in there with them. Yes, sir. Got to take the good with the bad, and the bad with the ugly, and the ugly with the good. And if you know what that means, please send a self-addressed <laughs> stamped envelope to Country 106, P.O. Box 509, Bluefield, VA. You vote on uh, the pizza cast. That's what it is. That's it. That's it. Here we come. Self to punt to Palmer and Brown. Low snap from center. He gets the kick off, and it's a boomer. Brown takes it, fumbles. Uh -oh, and it's uh -oh. And Princeton, oh, uh -oh. they'll bring it back. Ball's dead on the fumble. Ricky Brown, instead of uh, calling for the fair catch, went to try and take it himself and uh, slipped through his fingers. Unfortunate, but hey, we all make mistakes. So the Tigers will take over the football. It'll be first. Self barks the signals, takes a snap from center. The give is to Hill. There is a flag on the play. Hill goes nowhere, stacked up by the entire front line of the G-men. Flags all over the place, Kiss. A little bit of backfield in motion. Still want you to sing that song for me. Remember that? <laughs> backfield in motion. First down, 15 Tigers. Here they go. Self given to the first man through. He'll go nowhere. Smothered. Absolutely smothered. Absolutely nowhere. Hey, folks. Uh-oh. Don't forget. I see flags down. Yes, and it is against Preston. Personal foul. They call it a holding, or did he say foul? It looks like a personal to me, yes. Personal foul on the Tigers. They'll move it back 15 this time. Major penalty, and that's the type of thing that head coach Ted Spadaro does not want to see at this point in tonight's game. Can't win for losing. So I want to remind you to join Ira Nash tonight for the Country 106 High School Sports Wrap-Up at 11 p.m. Right here on Cut Duties back there. Wide receiver left for Princeton. Self takes a snap from center. Oh, fumble. fumble on the play. And I believe it was recovered in there by David Spangler of the Tigers. So it's going to be third down and just about a ton. Third down and what, about 40? 32. For left, flanker right. Self dropping back to pass, looking downfield, still looking, being chased, takes it himself, and he's tackled at the 45-yard line where it'll bring up fourth and another bundle. Fourth and about 26, and Grubb, or rather, Self is set to kick for the Tigers. There's a snap from center, another low one. He fumbles it, gets the kick off, a short one. And it's going to go out of bounds. I'll see how in the world he got that one off. I don't either. It goes out of bounds at about the 39-yard line of the G-men where they'll take over. First and 10, we'll pause for 30. Jeff Brown Homes has bad forward to a four-day, three-night vacation to Orlando, Florida, home of Disney World. And you can take it next year. But hurry, just a few trips left at Jeff Brown Homes, routes 19460, Bluefield, Virginia. 
It's first down and 10 as Patton pitches back to Tony Palmer around the left side. Palmer is chased and knocked out of bounds by number 55, Jade White. Palmer picks up about six yards on the play. It'll be second down, make it seven yards, second down and three for a G-man first down. Tony Palmer having an absolutely fantastic game. Chris Patton having some problems down there on the With the color will be a new guy. Here we go. It is second down and three, and we're ready to get back into uh, the swing of things here. 144 remaining, third quarter. Patton, the quarterback from the bone, takes the snap from center, and the give is to Grubb. And I believe Johnny has picked up the first down, depending upon where they mark it. Man, he moved that ball back a long way. It'll be uh, third down and a smidgen. Ricky Brown. Michael Patton, the quarterback, takes a snap from center, and the give is to the first man through. Marcus Latimer still on his feet. Watch him Latimer run. fighting to the 40-yard line of the Tigers. Pickup of 11 yards on the play, Dan. I think it's the best I've ever seen Latimer run tonight. This guy has gotten stronger, put on a few LBs in the offseason, and he is a workhorse. And that's what's good about it. We've got some depth this year. First down and 10. Here comes the G-Men as we uh, Latimer with the uh, football again. Look at him. Still on his feet. Well, not go down. I can't believe it. He I'll was hit what, at least three or four times there. Uh, we are picking up uh, the uh, Beaver game right now. We yeah. are. are you, can you hear it? I can hear something. Five G-men, four ticks remaining, third quarter. Patton takes a snap from center, gives to Latimer again. And Latimer stiff arms and still on his feet. He will not go down. Tackle finally made. That is the end of the third quarter with a score of the G-men 27. And the Tigers, nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Ramey Toyota's going to shake down prices, rattle down interest rates, and roll out the red carpet to their customers. Get a 1989 Toyota truck. Regular price, 92 40 50 The football at the Princeton 31-yard line. From the wishbone, Michael Patton still in at quarterback. Mike takes a snap from center. Gives it the first man through. Marcus Latimer Watch still on his feet. He will not go down. No, sir, all the way to the 10, maybe the 9-yard line. Latimer will not go down. That was a 21-yard carry. Make it 22. It'll be first and goal for the G-men from the 9-yard line. He is running on 12 cylinders tonight. Gee whiz. Never that's, seen him run that good. That's what they call a V8 350 four-wheel drive, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. With traction lock. Yeah, it's got that positive traction, too. What do they call that now? What's the big term for it? Uh, lock and differential. That's right. First down and nine from the nine. First and goal. Patton gives to, I'm not sure who that was, Danny. Oh, that's a nice little dive there, whoever it was. It was a beautiful little dive. Carrying in there for the G-men was Chris Cox. Number 32. I, I bet, Pete? Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete Rose. You want to bet? <laughs> yeah, Give it to Latimer that. through the middle. Latimer does not get in. Tripped up at about the one-yard line. I bet you he gets to this next time. You think? Eddie Caffrey checks into the football game. He'll be in the backfield. Ricky Brown checks out. Also checking in for the G guys is, let's see, Scott Grimm, or is it Josh Hornbarger? I don't know, we got two 86s. Let's see, probably Scott Grimm, he's a senior. Here come the G-men, third and goal from the three. Got a new quarterback in there. The game is to Latimer, touchdown. Latimer, I told you he'd get it. Center, it's up, and it is good. With a score of the G-men, 34, the Tigers nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Kirk Drug, downtown Bluefield, Virginia, is your family pharmacy. Mike Kirk finally made it on the board. It's Bluefield 7, Taswell 20. So Bluefield finally made it on the board in the third quarter. Okay, 20 to 7, 7 down there from Taswell. The kickoff was out. First and 10, Tigers. Uh-oh. Flag on the play. Another one against the G-men, I believe. We got a whole bunch Somebody of substitutions moved. in there. Receiver left, pro set left once again. Give it to the first man through, Rose. 
He picks up a few on a first and five situation. It'll be second and short, second and uh, maybe three. Four. He's in there right now, Cass. That's right. Second down and one for the Tigers, and they're looking for a first down. Man in motion, self. Oh, oh. man. Second string in there. They did a good job that time. Smoked them. Behind the line of scrimmage. Well, get ready for that big guy. I'm going to kick your butt. There's a flag on the play. I believe that's going to be on the offense, Cass. And we say uh, a hello to big brother John and Denise. Well, I and was wrong. I was on Graham again. I'm trying to talk to my third and one ball on the 29 of the Tigers. Looking for a first down. Self on the keeper. He's got it and, and some. It'll be first and ten for the Tigers. Hey, you know the guy that did the original song of the original? <laughs> first down and ten. Here we go. Tigers from their own 33. Self takes a snap from center. Gives it to the first man through. Rose, and he's got a few yards before he's stacked up by Brian Denham of the G-Men along with Todd Massey and Brian Denham and Brian Denham. Second down and five situation for the Tigers. Down in Townsville, once again, it is the Bulldogs 20 and Bluefield 7. Here we go, second out of five situation. Wide receiver left, self, dropping back uh -oh. to pass. Rolling to the left. Still rolling, loses his footing. Being chased by Marcus Latimer. Also in on the play was Todd King. Is Todd King, is he related to Bill and Sue, too? 37-10 remaining in the football game. g on top, 34-zip. The new quarterback, we'll find out who it is in just a second. Uh-oh. Oh, man, Wait. that was almost Woo. intercepted. That sure was. The new quarterback for the Tigers is Jeff Robinson is in at quarterback for the injured Aaron Self. That, uh... Pass, I think he went seven yard line. Bad snap from center. It is, uh, let's see, picked up in there by Brent Surface. What's the deal there? Did we call, call a fair catch? Evidently, we must have. Hunter for the Tigers was knocked down and must have gotten a piece of the ball because there was no yellow hanky on the play. So the throws. Bill Dudley, at quarterback, from the wishbone. Dudley takes the snap from center, gives it to the second man through Caffrey. Oh, Caffrey oh, with a oh, great oh. run all the way up. Caffrey picked up about 12 or 13 yards on the carry, Danny. Beautiful run by Eddie Caffrey and some nice blocking in there. Checking into the football game for the G-Men, Chris Cox. Bill Dudley, the quarterback, barking the signals, takes the snap from center. Gives to the second man through. Surface. That is Brent Surface. Surface picks up about four yards. It'll be second down at six. Taking him over to the doctor. Second down and five. Dudley, quarterback, takes the snap from center. Gives to the second man through. I believe that was Surface again. It was Surface, and Surface picks up maybe a yard, if that. Surface has got some good moves on, Cass. Quick. Bill Dudley's now in at quarterback for Mike the General Patton. There's a snap from center to give to Caffrey. Caffrey's got the first down and some. And Caffrey on a beautiful run. Eddie is a senior at 190 pounds this year. And I am impressed with the depth we have got the remaining in the football game. Dudley barks the signal, takes a snap, gives to the second man through. Caffrey, he goes nowhere. That was smoked out. Get a 10 from the Tiger, 39. Dudley, at quarterback. Dudley, box the signals, takes a snap. And the game is to number 43. And that is Marcus Forney. Forney picks up a couple before he is smacked to the ground. Bring up third down at eight. Checking into the game center. Pitches back around the right end to Brent Surface. Surface almost pulled down. Almost pulled down in the backfield, but extra he effort. broke it with the extra effort and gained some yardage. 
Got it up to about the 33-yard line where it is going to be fourth down and a long three for a G-man first down. Under three minutes remaining now in the football game. G-Men on top, 34 to nothing. Country 106 is WBDY. FM 106.3, serving Bluefield, Princeton, and Taswell. Official fourth down of three, G-Men. Dudley, the quarterback, takes a snap from center. They give it to Caffrey. Looks like a first down to me. Be awfully close, awfully close. I believe he made it, though. Depends on where they mark it, and they mark it in first down territory. First down, first down. First down, G-Men. So hopefully these young guys will get the first score does not give you a headache in the future. <laughs> Dudley gives us the snap, is giving it to Brent. Surface, surface on the crossbuck trap picks up about six yards. <clears throat> second down and four, G-Men. Dudley at quarterback, second down four situation. Snap from center, pitch back. So number 43, that is Forney. Forney has got the ball all the way down to the 13-yard line of the Tigers. First down. And another first down. Marcus Forney, 5'8", 152 pounds at halfback. He's a junior. That sounds like my brother, Danny. That's the way <laughs> he used to. Remember, the Labor Day celebration ends Monday, Labor Day at 8 p.m. Don't miss it at Ramey, Routes 19, 460, Taswell. 73 ticks remaining in the game, and there's the snap from center. Dudley hands <laughs> off to Brent Surface to the left side. Surface to the 10 and to the 5, and he is stacked up in there. That is close to a first down. Close to a first down. It is a first down. Go for the 6. Dudley, a quarterback. Dudley takes the snap from center, pitches back to Surface around the right side. He cuts it back across the grain, and he is close for those cigar. Real close. That was nice running by surface, Danny. Nothing doing on the outside. Broke it back across the grain. What grain there was left. Just a few more steps and there was no grain left. Just nothing but... Uh, Time is up. running short. 17, 16, 15 ticks. Second and goal from the three. Dudley, a quarterback. Oh, There's a flag, flag on the play. That'll stop the clock. Right to the left for the G-man. Dudley, a quarterback, takes the snap from center, looking to pass, and he'll be smothered. He'll be smothered. That is the end of this football game. The final score, the Graham High School G-man. The Graham oh, and it's going to be third and goal from the 12. Dead ball foul, five yards back. One of our guys jumped. We won't mention the 12, 13 yards out. It's, uh, here we go. Dudley pitches back to Brent Surface. And that's the end of the football game now, folks. Surface, surface won't go down. Finally he went down, Kiss, finally. 